Welcome to my channel. I'm Arkel Bond, a recent high school graduate. At 16, I discovered my passion for working with my hands in a construction technology class my high school offered. There, I built two houses completely from scratch. Now, at 18, I'm living my passion as a member of the Carpenters Union and the owner of my own business, BBB Construction. You might have seen me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Probably not, but hey, if not, nice to meet you. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the video. I typically begin my day at 4.15 a.m., but the exact time depends on when I need to be at the job site. I usually aim to wake up two hours before, but waking up at 4 a.m. is crazy to me, and 4.30 cuts it a little too close. By the time I head downstairs, I've already prayed, stretched, meditated, and drank two bottles of water. Then I head straight to the bathroom to brush my teeth and wash my face. When I started out, getting used to waking up early was no joke. Some days, I tried to sneak in a little extra sleep, but it always had me rushing to work, stressed and on edge. That feeling in the morning carried on throughout my day. When you rush, you forget things, then you get yelled at, then you have to sweep all day, and it just spirals. That's why having a morning routine is absolutely crucial. It shapes your entire day and instills a sense of discipline early. Making conscious choices in the morning brings a sense of accomplishment that boosts productivity at work and in every aspect of life. So get in the habit of doing everything early and take charge of your mornings. Once I'm ready for work, I hit the road at 435 and the job site is 50 minutes away, but somehow I always end up getting there about five, 10 minutes earlier. Before I get onto the highway, I make a quick stop at my favorite gas station. Every day I get 32 ounces of black coffee. You're probably thinking, ew, black coffee, that's disgusting. For one, grow up. And trust me, when I say as a former energy drinker, black coffee is 10 times better. I arrive at the job site 30 minutes before work starts, so in this case, 5.30 a.m. I take 10 minutes to relax in my car, then as you see here, put all my safety stuff on, and I start walking 15 minutes before work begins at 5.45. To be real, I do it to let my coworkers know I'm ready to work. My goal is to be the best worker I can be, and I genuinely believe that showing up early reflects my determination, eagerness, and readiness to get things done. The first thing I do when I get to the job site is hydrate. Once I'm hydrated, I jump straight onto the 30-foot scaffold and begin measuring for the piece we need to hang. But, of course, I end up measuring the wrong side. After measuring the right side, we get right into hanging the drywall. I asked Dirty Dom, the bottom guy, to cut a piece at the right length, but I think we just needed a full sheet. We use a rope and two clamps to bring the drywall up to us. Then Landon, the other apprentice, and I pull it and rest it, the drywall on our steel toe boots before putting it up and screwing it in. Once we get those last two sheets on, we'll be completely done with that whole wall. I'll show you guys later how it looks, but for now, we have another wall to work on with drywall. This wall is much smaller and easier to hang drywall on because we don't need to use a 30 foot scaffold. We managed to complete about half of it before lunch and save the rest for after work. Typically, I avoid eating on breaks because it makes me feel sluggish and tired. However, today, I made an exception and treated myself to some gas station chicken. Three tenders with honey mustard. 
Taking a look at the weather forecast, I made sure I shed a couple tears and hydrated before I got back to work. Fortunately for me, I got to witness this project from start to finish. When I arrived, it was about 70% framed and no drywall was hung. But in just a couple of weeks, my team and I managed to fully frame and install all the drywall. Now, that might sound like a long time, but keep in mind, we had to work on a 30 foot scaffold and every time we needed to move the scaffold, we had to place plywood underneath it, as we were working on finished roofing. Moving the scaffold alone was a tough job in and of itself, but hey, we made it happen and I'm proud of what we accomplished. Now I have an hour drive back to Muncie, and I often use this time to take short naps. It helps me recharge and stay alert for the rest of the day. I rushed home, managed to wash my face and change my shirt quickly before heading straight into my meeting. That was Lena, the amazing owner of Bestie Boutique, a genuinely kind and supportive person. She never fails to lift me up with encouragement. If you're ever in Muncie and need shirts or really any custom design items, you can count on Bestie Boutique for quality products. I eat Chipotle every single day because cooking is just not my thing, and it takes forever for me to prepare a meal. So I stick to my go-to burrito bowl with extra chicken, and it's a pretty healthy choice. Right after eating, I head straight to my aunt's brand new shop where I need to install two cabinets. Today, I only have time to do the layout. This is the wall she wants the cabinets, and the tricky part is getting it in the middle and on the studs. Here, I'm marking every 16 inches to where the studs should be. After my shower, I jump into my night routine, which is just as crucial as my morning routine. It sets me up for an easier morning ahead. My night routine involves preparing my clothes for the next day, brushing my teeth, washing my face, and taking some time to journal. After that, I work out since I don't have much time to go to the gym anymore. Here's the twist though. Right after my night routine, I get productive. I edit YouTube videos, create TikToks, respond to clients, or even watch some TV from time to time, but not very often. But to keep my focus sharp, every five minutes, I do 25 push-ups. This helps me stay on track with my tasks and prevents me from getting too distracted. Plus, it's a great way to stay active without getting too sweaty before bed. After a couple hours, I hit the hay. I aim to sleep around 11, but if I'm being honest, there are many nights when I don't doze off until 1 or 2. 
Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Creating this content took a lot of effort, so if you could, give the video a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. Don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms using the links below. Your support means the world.